its expectations. It is after pre-trial chambers presiding Judge Ekaterina Trendafilova announced that a status conference had been set for mid-morning on the 18th of April, that the defense teams made their concerns known. Lawyers representing Mudaura Ali and Uhuru are expected to meet with the prosecutor and ICC registry officials at the status conference where the prosecutor will make known the number of witnesses and documents he intends to present as well as other issues pertinent to the case. The defense teams are invited to indicate whether they anticipate to present evidence at the confirmation hearing. Budaura's British lawyer Karim Ahmad Khan, who represented former Liberian President Charles Taylor at the International Court since 1996, was the first to raise concern over what he termed as delayed disclosure of ICC prosecutor Luis Moreno Ocampo's evidence. By the next hearing, the prosecutor give us, the defence, what they gave you back on the 15th of December. Uh, Your Honour, that has clearly been identified, it is clearly available, and there seems to be no reason on earth why the prosecutor cannot give us that in order to have adequate time and facilities for the preparation of the defence. Retired Major General Ali's defence team wanted to know in good time the scale and scope of the documents of Campo intends to table as supporting evidence. So if someone comes in and says, I have five documents, it could be 5,000 pages. Now, obviously, that could be an exaggeration, but nevertheless, when we're talking about the scope of the disclosure and how long it's going to take for the defense to get prepared, it's important to know how much information uh, we need to digest. But Ocampo had reservations. challenge of the admissibility and the relation with the possibility to proceed with disclosure before this challenge is, is decided, because maybe the decision is against the admissibility of the case and then the, it's a different situation. So that's why this one concern will raise. With regard to the challenge on the admissibility, as was filed by the Kenyan government, uh, you know that it wouldn't in any way uh, um, disrupt the proper conduct of the disclosure of what you have up until now. It could prevent you from proceeding with uh, uh, further investigations uh, that uh, you have all the rights to, to, uh, to conduct under the statutory documents. Bodaura's lawyer was, however, unhappy about the delay in the disclosure of evidence available. What I want to avoid is coming here uh, in 10 days' time and asking for precisely the same thing, the same material that I've identified. With so many concerns raised by the defense teams and the prosecutor also having expressed reservations about disclosing much evidence before the confirmation of charges hearing, the stage is set for a busy and charged status conference on the 18th of April. Abdi Osman, Citizen Weekend.